Hey guys, so I am making another tutorial. I know it's been a little while, but I finally got my computer back up and running. Uh, well, I should say I finally got my new computer up and running, so here you have it. I'm going to start doing some more. Now, of course, a lot of you might sort of think, like, why am I doing all these stupid basic tutorials? Why am I doing beginner stuff? Well, it's because if you don't get the basics, you just aren't able to win the game. You have to, have to, have to be able to beat the basics to be able to win the game. So, what I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial is for each of the races, SCP I'm going ready. to show you their ability to be able to SCP increase ready. the rate at which they gather resources. SCP so for the, for the Terran, this is done through the Orbital SCP Command ready. Center, which I've talked about before. And it is done SCP through SCP things ready. called mules. Okay, so, SCP as you can ready. see, it needs to slow down quite yet. So I'm getting my Orbital Command Center right away. I'm getting that at 15, as you can see. That is usually when you get it. Sometimes you get it at 16. If you sent out that scouting probe, you'll probably be delayed at 16. So what just happened right here? What's this thing? It's a mule. That's a mule. That's what you get from your orbital command center. Their call down is right here, where you press the E key. It takes 50 energy. It does not use up any supply of the mule, and it collects an extra two minerals per trip. So for one, this thing builds really fast because you just need energy and then you call it down, two, it doesn't take up any supply, and three, it collects resources faster than regular SCVs. Mules are amazing, they're great, and the great thing about mules is if you have two or three command centers and you just start a new base, or you just had all your SCVs wiped out and you've got a lot of energy in each, you can call down like eight, ten mules at once and suddenly, boom, your economy will be going as fast as if you had fifteen or more SCVs mining minerals. So mules are great because they can still be used later in the game. Uh, they can always be used to catch up an economy with your opponents ahead of you, as well as they allow you to collect a lot faster. So, that is mules. Oops, wrong thing. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to move on to the Protoss player. And what the Protoss player has is they have this thing called Chrono Boost. Now, Chrono Boost allows you to speed up the production at any building, or speed up the research time, or speed up the cooldown time. So as you can see, yada yada yada, regular stuff. Now I want you to notice what's going to happen right here. This, I finally have enough energy for Chrono Boost, I throw it on there. Look at how much faster this is now building compared to normal. So that's how Chrono Boost works, it allows you to get out early in the game. You can use it to get out your workers a lot faster by Chrono Boosting the Nexus. Later in the game you can use that to Chrono Boost any of your other buildings, whether it's to do a technology research or something else. So see how slow this is going? I'm just about to Chrono Boost again, and boom, look at how that, almost twice the speed. So it's great for getting your workers out, great for getting a lot of workers out faster, and then later in the game it can be used for getting out units faster, finishing your research faster, there's a ton of great uses. And that is what Protoss has to be able to uh, <laughs> gather resources faster. Now we're going to move on to Zerg. As you know, I don't really play Zerg, but I'm going to show you anyways. Now the Zerg player, they have hatcheries. You can actually build multiple units at a time out of a hatchery, which is great, as long as you have the minerals. So in some ways it can be faster than doing uh, other players, but you will notice that something like the Chrono Boost it will actually start to catch up and pass the speed at which the Zerg player is able to create drones. Just because the Zerg player has to start using this larva, larva to be able to spawn other units. Because this larva is used for everything, not just drones. As you can see when I click on it, there's all the units you can build out of it. So at the beginning of the game, you're just building uh, drones out of it. Let's fast forward that because that's really boring. Anyway, so if you're wondering why my thing exploded right back there. What I did is I started, see I maxed out at supply, I started building this, as soon as I started building this I used those resources to create a drone right away and then I cancelled that as soon as the drone was ready so this way for a couple of seconds I do get an extra drone. You don't have to do this, it barely makes any difference but a lot of higher level players like to do this especially since as we all know there's not a lot to do early game. Okay, so once again, see, you can create multiple drones at a time. Now, of course, you have to build your overlords, make sure you have supply. And you can see multiples finishing at a time. Now, once you get your spawning pool, this will unlock the queen. The queen is what 
basically speeds up the thing that speeds up. It's similar to the Chrono Boost or the Orbital Command Center, so to say. Now the Queen has a ton of unique abilities. Uh, the Queen has Inject Larva, which I just did. I just put Inject Larva. You can see those four extra little things there. Those are going to spawn in as extra lar larva, and larva are the things that I use to build units. It's also got um, create a creep tumor, so this allows you to spread the creep by putting a little tumor, and then it'll start to grow. It also has the ability of transfusion to heal. So queens are really good early in the game because you can use them to attack. As you can see, I just demoed by attacking that zergling with my queen. So queens can attack, but more importantly, they can use spawn larvae, which allows you to get extra units. And as you can see, this is what a creep tumor does, spreads your creep for you. So there you have it, that is the zerg player. Now not only does the inject larva allow you to get drones faster, it allows you to get all of your units faster. Now, of course the other option is building another hatchery, I really don't suggest that. Um, but it, once again, your own strategy is your own strategy. But then again, here's the queen and inject larva or spawn larva, and that allows you to build units faster. And that concludes this tutorial, nice and short.